Here's Roman Trumpets on page 46. The new thing about this piece is you're going to be learning bass clef note F. And you can see on that fourth line from the bottom on the bass clef, that whole note is resting on the F. And that's the F right below middle C. On the keyboard, here's middle C. Here's B, A, G, F. So that F is this F right here. Right? The bass clef is also known as the F clef. And it's really because this little uh, circle part of the candy cane is on the F line. And here are the two um, little dots on either side of the F line as well. And uh, that's the old saying for bass clef. It was called the F clef. So now for Roman trumpets, this piece is in a a b a form that's what we call that and that just means that there'll be a section that repeats and they'll be exactly they'll be identical and then there'll be a whole new section and then there'll be another section this a prime that means it starts off like exactly like the a section but there'll be something different in it to distinguish it and make it different than the regular a section so we are going to start playing on treble F, and then here's a C and an F in the left hand playing at the same time. We're going to put our one on middle C and our five, fifth finger of the left hand on the F, your new note. And these all play together. And remember, these little uh, carrot guys or greater than signs are called accent marks. So we just give them a little accent. We're going to be in 4-4 four, four time. So uh, we have four beats per measure, and a quarter note gets a beat, and we're playing forte. And this whole section... Let me go down a little bit. This whole section, this first line, is going to repeat down below exactly. So there'll be section A and section A again. And then on the second page, here's our brand new section. Whole, totally different. We're going to put, uh, we're not changing hand position. Our third finger is going to be on A there again, and we're just walking up. I mean, sorry, walking down and then walking back up. And then here's the return of that A section, we're gonna expect a little bit different something at the end, and there is the difference right there. That makes it the A prime. So another thing is we're gonna be slowing down right here. So not a, like a, we're not like coming to a screeching halt, we're just slowing down gently until we get to here, give a little accent to this. Then we're gonna see this eight VA mark. We're gonna go down a whole octave, and um, we'll hit this uh, bass C and the F below that. And then notice the pedal marks throughout. On the first page, here it is, through that first measure, second measure, and into the third measure. And it'll be the same on the, on the bottom uh, line here as well. Now when you're first practicing, don't worry about the pedal. Just get the notes down, and then when you have your notes down and your rhythms down, then you can include the pedal. So what does that sound like? Well, first let's get our hands in position. Our fourth finger of our right hand will be on that F to start. So we'll have our thumb on middle C. Now, our thumb of our left hand will be on middle C as well, and our pinky will be on the F. So to start, we're going to be playing forte, remember, nice and proudly. I'm going to put the pedal down now, but as you're learning, don't do that. Uh, you'll want to get your notes first. So 